is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I want to go over a couple of things that I think are important because, uh, you know, many times when we talk about these, we don't talk about uh, losing trades, and that's where you learn some of your most uh, important things. And I posted that chart of the uh, NASDAQ where I thought it was going to go to right around 14,000. Well, it stayed there for about 15 or 20, well, about a half an hour. And then it exploded above there. Now, had I been trading that, my stop would have been like 10 points above that. So I would only be risking $200. So I want to bring that to your attention. But let's go back and talk about this NVIDIA because I have done a lot of cases, actually 33 cases in the legal of uh, expert witnessing over a period of uh, five years when I was working with Eddie Horwitz. God rest his soul. This is the NASDAQ, uh, the NVIDIA, okay? This was the ABCD pattern. You can see the high here had been uh, 13, um, 16. Okay, I think it closed around uh, 290 or something like that yesterday. And then that's when this explosion occurred. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up, okay, and I, hey, I might be 100% wrong and I'm, huh, I'll be the first to recognize it, but I personally believe that when you see something like this, this is bidding. This is bidding, folks. The offers, I mean, if you are if you want to sell this stock and you want to get short and, and you see something like this and you're willing to sell it right into it, I, those boys, one thing you can tell the boys on Wall Street, they're not all dumb. There's a few of us out there, but there's not all of them are dumb, let me tell you. Well, I'm... I'm tricky, but that's okay. Anyway, that's uh, now you can see the actual trading that's going on right in here, okay? That's why I was concerned. So what I did was I went and I looked at the NASDAQ, and I wanted to see what the NASDAQ was doing at the same time that that was occurring. And as you can see here from the NASDAQ, it was trading very um, normally. And just, just, just to give you an idea, look at this. You see this period here? This is when the news came out. Look how the NASDAQ goes sideways where NVIDIA is going straight up. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but you know that's why I don't trade stocks. I'm a futures trader, but this is a futures. But I would be looking at that and saying, okay, well, maybe we're going to get to that point. I don't know, but what happened in here? I will find out the answer to that because I will call someone at the NASDAQ and I will get that information and I'll have that for you by Monday at the very, very latest, because I want to know just for myself if those are bids or, or they are just uh, actually, people are actually selling it all the way up. And if they are, they got to be some pretty smart people. Now, I heard Jeff Huge on saying that the volume today was a hundred and some million in that stock. I, I don't know uh, if it is, but I'm going to check that. If that's the case, Boy, I'd be watching that stock really closely because that means that there's something is not right because with that much volume, uh, I would think the stock could be up 40% because who's going to be selling it up there? Someone that has a lot more interest in than what we might think. Let's talk about another one that didn't work today. This was the, uh, the July live hog. We waited for five days to get filled on this, folks. And I'll tell you, the, the amount of time that we were in between 1910 and 1810 was five minutes. It just collapsed, and it went even much, much lower to be down uh, 350 points uh, today, which is about $1,500 in hogs. And, of course, we took a $400 loss uh, in, in the hog. The other one uh, that we looked at last night, and we were in it for quite some time until the report came out, which was the euro. Here again, it was the same pattern. We had a really nice 61% retracement setting right there at that 107.04 level. And, uh, of course, 
107.38, and when it went below 107.18, uh, that's when we said, it, said, no, that's it. We're wrong, and, of course, it kept kept going. Now, as the dollar, this means the dollar is strengthening, and as Jeff pointed out, uh, when the dollar strengthens, that usually means that uh, the stocks uh, start to uh, have some type of correction. Not all the time, but the cycles can be uh, in that direction, and that's why we're watching uh, them very, very closely. Before we were less, I had to check the price of a copper here today, folks, because bring this up here because I didn't get any response from the den here, but uh, that's not uh, that's not important. You'll notice here there's the 61% retracement here at 357. The low was 354.75. We're now trading at 362, so it's held that level relatively well. Now this may mean that we're getting ready to move up. We have a Gartley pattern in the Dow Jones, okay, and we've got a breakaway. Uh, in the S&P pretty much, and we certainly have a breakaway in the NASDAQ. But if you take a look at what the Russell is doing, and that, well, I'm going to do it both ways. This is from Tuesday's show. Get this up here and take a quick look at it. There's where we were on Tuesday. It looked like we were getting ready to break out then. And, of course, if you see what's happening to the Russell uh, so far today, it's a uh, totally different thing. It's backed off. Uh, even below the 61% retracement. So as Basil would say, we do have a bifurcated market here. So we'll find out shortly what's going to happen. But we have to pay attention to what we're seeing uh, in the NASDAQ, in, in NVIDIA, because it has all the earmarks of an explosive blow-off. And blow-offs can go a long way up, folks. We've seen this before. I can remember gold back in the 1980s. Everybody thought the top was going to be at the old magic number of 666. Well, it stayed there for about two days on its way up another 25% uh, till it topped at $865 an ounce on July, June 20, January the 20th of 1980. And from there, 1980, it went down, believe it or not, folks, all the way down 21 years to 2001 when it bottomed right around $265. I can remember this because I was uh, um, I had just met Tom O'Brien, and that was his big thing. Uh, of course, he is a gold specialist, and he was loading up the gold, and from there we had a pretty big move. But we're having a good correction now in the gold market, just like we were uh, in the silver. And since I, I want to go over that silver trade again, because it's important on, on how to handle risk. And that's what our job is. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And so if you look at silver here, we were this was on Tuesday. Here we are Thursday, we hit this last night at uh, two uh, at 2292. The low was uh, 2286, I believe. Then we rallied all the way up to uh, 23, uh, 25, I believe. And then we came down and then continued to make new lows. So when you've made that kind of money and you're only risking 10 cents and you make 30 cents, you I didn't take any profits, but we put our stop at break even. And that was the right thing to do because it continued to go lower. And that's why we want to be watching. So let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, what I did in the Tiger Den is I posted the uh, why this GPU thing is so very important. It comes up from uh, John Jameson, who has been heavily involved in the Internet and computers since 1983, and he knows this stuff quite well. And uh, he's been quite bullish on this stock for a very, very long time. Now, I've noticed... Uh, that the volume, uh, Chuck was nice enough to let us know that NVIDIA volume today has been 123 million shares. I don't know what the average volume is or how many shares are outstanding, probably uh, uh, quite a bit. Oh, the float is two. Thank you very much. The float was 2.4 billion and that we did 123 million. So that's not a, the average volume is 44 million. So it's uh, three times the normal volume. Now, you got to ask yourself the question is uh, who's selling up here? Hello, operator. Let's look, let's pay attention to that because that might be important uh, down the road here a bit. Now, I posted the chart here of the gold, folks. We've been waiting on this for quite some time. It's been in a bearish pattern for quite a while. Uh, the pattern that we're looking at here is for 1915 to 1905. There are two major numbers in there, the 382 and the 61% retracement. It has been actively traded uh, from both sides here. But if you'll notice here what has been happening, and this is another reason why we were really cautious on the silver today, is because the fact that we were heading to that price objective that we were looking for. Here's where we were just a few weeks ago. If we remember, this uh, was an important 618 and 78% level. Then we had this, then we had the rally here, and now we have the big move down, and that measures down to 1905 to 1915. And folks, we just saw a 1939 print. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize you're only about $35 away from that and we could be since we're down 21 today we could be there uh, tonight tomorrow or even by the time this show finishes who knows but 
This is why we're watching this gold and silver very closely because this is a major ABCD here to the downside. We've been trying to short it most of the time and it has been the right thing to do. You can see here uh, just over the last 10 days, it's not been, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. All you had to do was wait for the 382 retracements in here. And of course, now we're, we're below the, the chart now. We're down, we hit 1939 just a little while ago. So that tells us that we are most probably heading down to that price level of 1905. That would be my guess. Now, you're probably going to have to risk probably about 15 or 20 bucks at that point because it's going to be wild when it gets there. That's absolutely uh, for sure. Well, nothing is for sure in these markets, but that's pretty much what we're what we're waiting for. A uh, question came up, uh, will, what will I do about the hogs? Well, the hogs have broken down below any support that I can find. Uh, that last support uh, there at 1910 was where it should be, 1.618. And I've always talked about once you go past 1.618, there's trouble in River City, and that's why that stop was in, and it was filled instantaneously. Now, since you've been so kind today, I'm going to give you a chance to take a little trip across the pond over here because I was speaking to my friend Tom Hugard today, and uh, I had to uh, – uh, oh, my goodness, what did I do wrong here? I think it's uh, correct. I hope it is anyway. Yes, there it is. This is the DAX. You can see the ABCD pattern. And now we're starting to go to the downside. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video uh, tonight on the Chinese market and also on the Hang Seng because all these markets are interconnected. And especially when you see things that are happening uh, in with the NASDAQ and the news that came out about NVIDIA. I don't think I've ever, well, I guess with Apple and the iPhone it was, but um, that this was a tremendous move of 30% uh, in one day. Just it's, it's really a big thing. With that much volume, uh, remember folks, the average volume is 44 million and now you have you have three times normal. That means some some people are taking profits up here. That's what that means. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I, it's not like commodities, I guess. Who knows? But anyway, let's uh, let's remind ourselves uh, that that's what we're what that's what we're paying attention to here. Uh, we'll get more information as we see. But you know, I've seen these things turn around and be surprised over and over again. But that's the way it goes. Now let's take a look here at the FTSE because here's a perfect example of a, of a top that was making a real nice one three five pattern. Uh, to the downside, and uh, of course it uh, broke, you know, really rapidly, and so we want to watch this one. You can see how quickly it's come down, and that's giving us an idea that there is some selling coming across the pond on some of the things that are also out there. Okay, I've covered the euro, and I've covered the copper, and I've covered the Dow Jones, and I want to cover the bonds one more time. <clears throat> i get this up here because this is a stock of the this is the second largest traded thing that we have in futures. First is the 10 year note. This is the second, which is the 30 year bound. You see, we broke through. Uh, there was a beautiful Gartley there. It lasted for one day. And then, of course, it broke down. And again, when these patterns fail, they usually go quite a ways the other way. And as you can see now, we've broken below the 126 level. And we're trading uh, another half a point below that at 125.19, down a full point, which is also telling us that interest rates are going higher. They're not going lower. So basically, in my opinion, what you have today is you've got a one-way Corrigan. You've got everybody watching NVIDIA because it is the Messiah. It is the GPU uh, graphics per unit that is going to take us to the promised land and uh, where we, we can meet Dorothy Toto, the Tin Man. And what was the other guy? The Toto, Tin Man, and the Straw Man? Was that it was? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, uh, long, I remember my daughter at, the, at uh, the Wax Museum in London. She saw the picture uh, of, that was a wax of uh, uh, Dorothy and Toto. And it was a little red brick road, and she was only five years old. And so she goes under the the uh, 
the guardrail and she runs up to, to, to pet the dog. And of course, it was plastic you know, or a, a wax dog and everything. But the, the, the bobbies, the policemen went absolutely wacko that this little five-year-old girl could get up there. And she was very upset because they wouldn't allow her to pet the wax puppy. Toto. So anyway, that's one of the memories from the old days. Okay, let's see. I've covered most of the things. The thing that bothers me the most today is the fact that uh, this NVIDIA, uh, how the stocks get to that point, and I'm going to get that answer. Uh, there's a few people. Uh, Jeff may, gave me a pretty good answer, but I got to I got to double check that because it just doesn't make any sense to me because I've been on so many, uh, you know. Uh, cases as a uh, expert witness where I've seen some things like that where people have you know been involved where their stop was uh, he had a stop like he was in the stock in the video at uh, at uh, uh, 290 uh, 299 okay and he gets filled at, at uh, 350 you know so that's what I'm worried about not a lot worried but just a little worried stay tuned folks we got Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights coming up next Always a great show. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights as our guest today for the second half, and he's going to be talking to us about the S&P and yields. You want to continue, my friend? 
Hey, sure, Larry. Great to be back. Um, you know, we published this chart over the weekend just looking at um, 10-year Treasury yields relative to the S&P 500, and there's a pretty significant correlation, uh, inverse correlation, I should say. When uh, Treasury yields are up, the S&P goes down, and we saw five separate incidents of uh, rising rates result in uh, significant declines in the S&P from around uh, December of 2021 into the October, really into the March uh, period where we had the banks failing. And, you know, the the idea here is that we're starting to see uh, 10-year Treasury yields break out. And, you know, those who know technical analysis might recognize this pattern as an inverted head and shoulders base formation where um, the 10-year yield has now taken out the neckline of that pattern and appears to be edging higher here today at around 375 we think this is, uh, if it continues in this direction, we should be able to see a new cycle high on 10-year Treasury yields that exceed the 4.3% uh, level that we saw back in October. Uh, that would very likely coincide with the decline in the S&P 500 based on uh, the history of this study. Okay, that's good. Let's move on to the next one here because I've got several of these that are that are very, very informative from a technical standpoint, and you've been very, very correct on these markets, uh, Jeff. I have to tell you, even though the NASDAQ has gone crazy, I mean, your other stuff has just been absolutely uh, spot on as far as the S&P and the Dow Jones and the Russell. Why? I have a question. Why is the Russell so weak compared to everything else? I mean, that's the second largest of the stock indices. If things were really good, wouldn't you think the Russell would be tagging along? Yeah, you know, it's interesting today, the Russell is actually down almost a percent, while the S&P is yeah. up about a percent. So, you know, you've got that inverse relationship in the broad U.S. economy, uh, uh -huh. which is very representative of what's going on in uh, the Russell. And, you know, these top seven tech bellwethers that are really just mega cap fortress balance sheet. It's more of a staples or safety trade right now, with the exception of NVIDIA, which I think, you know, is, is getting uh, a big pop today based on a fundamental story, uh, but it is a narrative, and uh, that narrative, I think, has some uh, uh, potential uh, risks to it. Okay. So is is uh, the validity of the dollar up and the S&P, uh, what, what is the percentage of that working? I mean, because you can see that sometimes it bottoms exactly at the top, and other times it breaks out to the downside. How do you determine which direction it's going to go, Jeff? Well, we just follow the trend, Larry. You know, you know that's the trend is your friend. And what we what we able to model here, just looking back to around uh, January of 2022, is that as the dollar is breaking out to new highs, uh, the S and P generally uh, is breaking down to new lows. There's a loose correlation. It's it's not quite as tight as uh, that with yields, but they tend to be very very closely connected. And, uh, you know, we saw four such occasions up through the uh, October high in the dollar or late September high in the dollar. And, you know, it gets right into that neighborhood, right, where uh, the dollar peaked and, and equities bottomed and then equities started moving higher. The dollar started moving lower. I don't know which is the cause and which is the effect, right? But we do know that um, the dollar and rates are connected. And when rates are going down, the dollar goes down. And when rates are going up, the dollar goes up. And I think what's interesting here is we are seeing a breakout in the dollar, um, a downtrend, a cycle downtrend off the uh, late uh, September highs. And my suspicion here is that if this carries above the, uh, the March high, uh, or I should say the April high, uh, then I think we're going to have some pretty good uh, potential for the dollar to move up into that kind of you know, 10, 10 to 10, 15, and maybe challenge the old highs. If, in fact, that were to occur, I think we would see the S&P move in the opposite direction quite aggressively. Um, you know, the question is an open, uh, you know, the jury's still out. That's why I have question marks there. Uh, but, you know, we'll wait and see. And I think if we get above that 106 level in the dollar, uh, we should be seeing the S&P plumbing its lows. Okay, the next chart is really interesting because it shows some internal weakness in the NASDAQ, and that's, uh, uh, th this is, doesn't include the 27% uh, the jump in uh, NVIDIA today, I don't believe, does it, Jeff? 
Uh, yeah, this is a midday chart, so it does include that. And as you can see, it's not showing up in the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ composite's got about 3,600 stocks in it, and the uh -huh. um, uh, NVIDIA is less than a percent. And so it's not going to have that big of an impact on the NASDAQ okay. per se. But as you can see, the NASDAQ composite actually uh, made its recovery high on May 22nd, but that high was not attended by a new high in uh, net advancing issues. We're looking at the NASDAQ cumulative advanced decline line in the middle frame there, and that is still plumbing its lows right now. And so um, this is a severe indication of internal weakness. Very few stocks are making new uh, highs, and very few stocks are advancing. And, and again, I, I kind of jumped the gun there. Uh -huh. The bottom panel shows NASDAQ net new highs. That's new highs minus new lows. And what we're seeing is that it, it failed to confirm the recovery high in the NASDAQ composite. It failed to get above its February 2nd high. And so, you know, that negative divergence in, in internals, right, in, in the cumulative net advancing issues and cumulative net new highs um, fails to confirm price. And that is a bearish signal. That negative divergence tends to precede a major trend change. And, you know, last time I was on the show about a week and a half ago or so, we talked about the intra-market non-confirmations where, you know, the NASDAQ 100 was making new highs, but the broad market was failing to exceed its uh, prior recovery high in February. So we've got this combination of internal and external uh, kind of divergences that are uh, developing here, and that is a bearish uh, implication for future trend uh, trend reversal in the NASDAQ, in our opinion, and based on history. Okay, I wanted to bring another subject that you talked about uh, before is the fact that uh, the Tucson, Sem uh, Tucson <laughs> Taiwan Semiconductor folks have their uh, their production uh, my or uh, uh, what do you call it? hot wired so that if if China attacks, they can destroy all of the chips. That is what you told us, correct? That's right. You know, we've read this on uh, several separate occasions, and I had it confirmed by an eyewitness, um, a uh, uh, world expert in uh, EV technologies who was touring the TSMC plant in Taiwan, and he was uh, shown and told that all of the fabrication facilities at Taiwan Semiconductor in Taiwan are wired for demolition. Uh, that was uh, something that uh, the U.S. government and Taiwan worked together on in order to protect U.S intellectual property. And uh, the reason that China would look to invade uh, militarily would be to take control of that uh, semiconductor pro uh, production capacity. Um, Taiwan produces 70% of the world's chips and 90% of the world's advanced technology chips like used, used for AI. All of NVIDIA's chips are manufactured there. Wow, stay with us folks. Got more Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights coming up. You don't want to miss it. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Jeff Huge Alpha Insights, and he's going to show us anagalous anag years. I'm, I'm lack of sleep, my friend, is what this. Uh, okay, let's let's move on here. That was then, and this is now. Please yeah, continue. Yeah, Larry, but, you know this this chart setup is uh, basically an analog, and that analog that's the looks word. at the yeah, it looks at the dot com bubble period back then versus the NASDAQ 100 today, um, you know, off of those those March 2020 COVID lows. And, and we're kind of looking at the NASDAQ from the dot-com bubble off of the 1998 lows. And the similarities are, are incredible here. We saw the NASDAQ increase by 150% into its cycle wave three top in March of uh, 2000. Here today, we saw the NASDAQ increase by 150% from its COVID lows into its cycle wave five, uh, super cycle wave three top uh, in uh, uh, actually November of 2021. So, you know, that was the first part of it. And then we saw a five wave decline back during the dot com bust, right, off of that March 2000 high into its lows of, of really uh, May, June of 2000 and that was primary wave one down you can count the waves one two three four five and that was followed by three waves to the upside uh which you know was a a corrective waveform and it retraced 61.8 percent of that initial decline down before the ultimate collapse came in the nasdaq and the dot-com bubble which over the next basically two years carried the market down a total of 86% in the NASDAQ. If you look at the NASDAQ today, we had a bigger decline in percentage terms, uh, down 38% off of that cycle wave uh, five high in five waves to end um, primary wave one down. We've rallied in three waves. So far, we've retraced about 50% and got to a prior fourth wave extreme. That's a common area for a uh, counter trend advance to peak and roll over, but we still hold out the possibility that the NASDAQ could fully retrace that 61.8% level. That would get us to about 14,388 on the NASDAQ 100. And, you know, if that were to occur, that's really only another 3.5% upside. So nothing to really get too excited about. But the thing that I think is interesting here is. 
if we are peaking as we believe we are in primary wave two, the next leg down will be an epic plunge to new bear market lows that could carry the S&P down, I'm sorry, the NASDAQ 100 down equally, if not worse than what we saw during the dot-com bubble. So we think, you know, the, the trade here is to is to get to safety, to avoid this, wait for the break, and then look to short into weakness. Okay, makes good sense to me. I when you see one stock that's going crazy like that, 123 million shares was about uh, half an hour ago was what it done, which is three times normal. Which uh, boy, that's yeah. a, that's a <laughs> boy. Keep somebody's in mind, made a there's lot about two and a half billion shares out on that stock, so it's really only about five percent of the float. But it's wow. a lot of shares for a single day, even in that yeah. stock. Always makes me wonder who's selling where things are going like that. Now, I wanted to uh, go into one more thing because you've been so kind to uh, uh, us all here to tell us more about this uh, newsletter. Part of it is free, part of it. And for 12 folks, if you can't afford $12 a month to get this letter, you shouldn't be trading because he's got so much good information in here. So please tell us more about it, Jeff. It's your monthly newsletter. Yeah. Thanks, Larry. You know, we, we were scheduled to publish our next uh, issue, issue number 22, on uh, Saturday, June 3rd. So for those who haven't followed our work, we do publish a monthly newsletter. It's available on Substack. It's free to subscribe, and it's delivered directly via email to our subscribers on the first Saturday of every month. The newsletter is affectionately entitled Huge Insights, the Big Picture. We talk about macro things uh, that affect the economy and the markets. And, and, you know, everyone who signs up gets a free preview of, you know, the first four or five pages. It's usually about 20 pages with 25 to 30 charts. Uh, for those who want more, there's an option to upgrade to paid for as little as $12 a month. And uh, that includes our monthly market forecast and positioning recommendations. Our paid subscribers actually also receive our weekly Alpha, I, uh, Alpha Insights Idea Generator Lab publication. That details our top actionable trade idea and also provides uh, updated market commentary every Wednesday. And then in addition to that, you also get access to uh, periodic interim bulletin reports and quarterly video content that we set out, send out only to our paid subscribers. Okay, boy, this is really good stuff. Well, we're going to have you on again soon, my friend, and keep up the good work. And any time, Jeff, that you need something to get across to us or something of major importance, please, you know, let me know and I'll get you on the docket right away because I enjoy the charts. Uh, your track record is uh, impeccable, so uh, please keep up the good work and let us know anytime you see something that deserves uh, our attention because you, you're a real pro at this, and I certainly like to hear what you're doing. Absolutely, Larry. Thanks so much for having me on your show. It's my pleasure, folks. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. I believe I will be able to put up the uh, contact information here for you, so you'll be able to get this. I'll put it up here, and you'll be able to see it. But he is definitely uh, does a great job, folks. He he works about as hard as I do, and I don't think anybody works that hard. But do you know what it is, folks? <laughs> it's not work for me. I actually like the stuff. Sometimes I get a little bit overtired, but I, I really, I really do, I really do like it. And uh, it's just amazing here that I've, in the last half an hour, the Nasdaq has dropped 80 handles from the. We went up and made a high at 40. Uh, 40 30 and now we're trading 80 handles lower that quickly so that shows you that there is uh, some selling and buying going along along the way here so it's a very important to uh, to uh, watch that so actually it's a little more than that. It's actually gone 80 handles to the downside and uh, we still got the hogs well the hogs closed down believe it or not 382 i think the limit was uh, four four cents in hogs we haven't seen that in, in many many years but we'll probably see it again uh, pretty soon so that's it now I wanted to uh, take a second here because we've got a couple minutes uh, someone asked what I thought would be the most important chart that I'm looking at here and that's this one still folks this is this weekly chart here of the ABCD in the NASDAQ and the fact that we had this thing happening with NVIDIA today gets it up here uh, quite a bit above where we thought it would be, but on a percentage basis, you know, we were looking at 13,960, uh, 13, and the high today has been uh, 14,000 and 
uh, 20, so that's only 60 handles, which is only $1,200 in the NASDAQ future. So it's really not that much. And, and they, this thing maybe go, it might go straight up. Uh, you know, who knows where it's going to go? All I know is that it's going to be volatile along the way. The NASDAQ uh, still very, very strong. S&P has had a rally back. It's only made a 50% rally. Uh, it didn't hit our stop point on the sell side. So the good part is that uh, we put we risk 30 points in that because we made 90 handles on the way down. So we had to risk a third of that. So when we sold it at 41.57, you put a 30 handle stop on that. That takes you to 87, and we only got to 75. So you're still in that. If you get to 87, then you're going to give a third of your profits back. And that's nothing. Look at the silver. We bought silver at a $1,500 profit and ended up breaking even, and now it's lower than where we bought it. So it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. So stay tuned. 877 Nine. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the NASDAQ on the weekly ABCD. Remember that we made a Gartley buy pattern today at uh, 32,800, 32, and we rallied a couple hundred points off the bottom there, so that's gonna be interesting. The Russell's hardly, it's still down sharply on the day after hitting a 382 retracement yesterday, and the S&P, of course, has rallied back not quite 50% of the big drop from uh, uh, 42, uh, 24, 
all the way down to 41.12. And, of course, we were covering the shorts uh, yesterday at 41.29, uh, thinking there would be a rally. And, of course, we did get a rally. That's just being fortunate or lucky any way you want to look at it. So those are some of the things that we're watching. We're getting very close to what we think is a major bottom coming in here in both gold and silver. Silver broke our 382 support today at uh, 2292, but gold is getting very close to a major, major number of 382 and 618 at 1915 and 1905. The low today was, I believe, 1939 in the gold, so tonight's videos will be focusing on that. And also, we have soybeans in the crosshairs, folks. We're so close to a major, major ABCD on the long-term weeklies in November soybeans. And this is the time of the year that you want to be able to start looking at it. So hopefully we'll get all this stuff done here uh, tonight and get us updated on what we want to be looking at uh, for tomorrow. But we will have some videos coming out uh, tomorrow. There will not be another guest tomorrow because uh, we're going to have Bob Miner coming in the following week. And then also we're going to have Stan Harley, and maybe we'll even be able to get the wolf trader in sometime, Shane Smolian. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.